Hey, it's Kara, and welcome back to Never Skip Brunch. Today, I wanted to sit down and give you guys some interior design DIY project ideas that you can do to refresh and redecorate your space while we're at home. Home, home, just wanna go, just wanna go, home, home, back home, I've been going for So I hope all of you are staying safe and healthy through all of this. Um, being at home is sort of like a stress test that really brings to light what is working and what is not working in your spaces. So in this home design chat, I'm sharing eight different categories of projects and then a bunch of specific project ideas within those. So I'm hoping this will be a springboard for your creativity and that these ideas will help you get crafty using things that you already have at home, whether that's excessive craft supplies that you've hoarded or getting creative with a limited stash. So let's get to them. So category number one is upcycling furniture. You can repurpose and upcycle a piece of furniture that you already have. Maybe you no longer like the style or it's not functioning well for you. There's basically three different ways that you can transform it. Number one is to repurpose it. So an example of this is our blue dresser that used to be in our master bedroom, but I now put in the dining room for storing linens and tablecloths and napkins basically as a side table. So instead of buying a new buffet or piece of furniture for that space, I simply reallocated this dresser and it looks pretty great in there. So you can repurpose furniture. Maybe it's a nightstand that you want to turn into a bar cart or a side couch table that you want to cut the legs down and make it into a plant stand. Find ways to repurpose the furniture so you can use it, not have to get rid of it, and have something to do at home. So the second project idea in this category is to change the style. So this usually involves repainting or refinishing something, maybe adding new hardware. I recently did this with a little round table I had that I had painted blue and then yellow, and then it started peeling. So I took the time to sand everything down to the wood grain and then refinish with a coat of polyurethane. It's like a brand new table. And then the third project idea for upcycling is upholstering. So I did this with my entryway bench, which is probably my most popular project to date. I will link the embarrassingly awkward video below if you want to build that. But basically I just added upholstery to an existing piece of furniture to upload. Level it. So you could do this if you have a fabric stash with some scraps lying around or you can raid your closet. Find those pieces that you love the prints of but you literally never wear and maybe would be a good cushion for a chair or a bench or a stool or whatever it is. Okay, category number two is to change out your artwork. This is literally so simple but can totally transform your space. So my first favorite method for changing out artwork is to go on Etsy, find some digital prints. You can get like groupings of three or four, so they all coordinate together for like seven bucks. And then you can print them at Staples, which you can do online, have it shipped to your house. The hack is to select the blueprint option because you can print really large photos for super, super cheap. The next project idea for changing out your artwork is to frame some fabric. Literally so simple, but between beautiful prints or just really, really good texture if you don't want to add color, it's a good way to add some interest to your space, and it's a little more dimensional than regular artwork. So pick some of those fabric scraps or that shirt that you never wear that you love and frame it. And then the last easy way to swap out your artwork is to do some watercolor abstract art. So watercolors are super fun and kind of therapeutic to play around with, you don't have to be an official artist, just draw some shapes or some dots or really whatever you feel like. This piece back here is actually one that I created, which I will link below as well, but just use your favorite colors, try out some shapes, and then pick the pieces you like to be your new artwork. Category number three is DIY wall art. So this is a little bigger scale. Before we were just kind of swapping things out of existing frames. This, we're actually going to be making things. So project idea number one is paper flowers. These are a great way to add kind of that feminine floral vibe to your space with something that you don't have to water. You can pick the exact colors and size and it makes a really cool, fun, and playful statement in your room. So I have a paper dahlia template that I will link below if you wanna try that one out. So project idea number two is shower curtain art. So if you are a dedicated DIYer, you might have seen this floating around Pinterest, but essentially you take a shower curtain, you build a frame for it, and then you staple it around the frame to create a huge canvas. This floral print 
is a shower curtain. It cost me $11.99 from Target and I have a full tutorial on how to make it because it was literally so simple. So make sure to hit that subscribe button below and then click that bell so you get notified when it drops so you don't miss out. I literally made an over five by five foot piece of artwork for under $20. And I have a special hack to make it a little bit more 3D and add a little bit of texture so you do not want to miss this one. Okay, category number four is doormats. So dressing up your doormat for some reason, even if it's just for the Amazon Prime guy or the DoorDash delivery people, feels really refreshing and it's a good way to redecorate seasonally if you're decorating for spring. I skipped straight to summer and made a monstera leaf doormat where I took my regular boring brown doormat, I cut it into a leaf shape, and then I spray painted it. It kind of looks amazing and there's a whole template that you can use to do the exact same thing to yours. So option number one is to dress up your doormat by turning it into a shape. Project idea number two is to just paint it. You could tape off with some painter's tape or do a homemade stencil and do some kind of pattern, whether it's stripes or polka dots or plaid, um, to dress up your boring old mat. I would make sure to use spray paint though because I've tried acrylic paint and it took forever. And then project idea number three is to do just some script. I had a follower who's an amazing calligrapher do a doormat with some script on it. So whether you wanna do something cute like welcome or a funny phrase like please leave unless you have tacos, the options are endless. Category number five is to revamp your lighting. Lighting can do wonders for a space and you don't have to replace your light fixtures or even add new lamps to achieve this. So project idea number one is to paint your light fixtures. This is something I recently did over on Instagram. I painted my stainless steel fixtures gold without removing them. I just taped up all my extra Amazon boxes to the ceiling to protect everything and they turned out amazing. I use my very favorite gold spray paint that doesn't look cheap and gets great coverage and they look so good. Project I did number two for revamping your lighting is just to upswap your light bulbs to those really cute vintage bulbs. So you could buy a multi-pack on Amazon, they have LED versions that give you those energy savings and don't get too hot. And this is just a really simple way to take your light fixtures to the next level, give them a little more personality. And it's especially great if you have fixtures with no shade or with a glass like bubble shade uh, where you can see the light bulb. It's a really good way to make them look more sophisticated. Category number six is to update your home accessories with tassels and pom-poms. So tassels and pom-poms are a great ad pretty much any time, but more specifically, they can add interesting texture, really good color, and kind of spice things up with minimum effort. So my very favorite place to add pom-poms and tassels is on pillows. You could do them on the front or just a corner of your pillow, both sides, one side, a pattern, however you wanna do it. Another really great place to add them is onto baskets. So the edge around the top of your basket, you could do some tassels or some pom-poms or just one on the handle. But this is a really good way to carry color throughout your space or texture throughout your space and a really fun way to spice things up. So if you have a lot of yarn and you're really into this pom-pom and tassels idea, I actually have an entire series called Yarn It, which is all about different home decor crafts you can do with yarn that don't involve knitting or crocheting. There's a video all about pom-poms, which is like the ultimate guide to making pom-poms, and then a video all about tassels, including four ways to make them. So check those out if you have a bunch of yarn laying around and you want to get crafty. Category number seven is scrap wood projects. If you have a bunch of scrap wood lying around that you have hoarded or accumulated, now is the time to use it. So if you have framing lumber, you can build that entryway bench that I told you about before. It's very, very simple. I've been focusing on repurposing some of those scraps of plywood to create really chic decor pieces. So I made these quote mark bookends with leftover plywood. I used the striped edge on purpose to look like the sides of a book and they turned out really, really great. So there's tons of cool things you can make with plywood and you can actually use the striped edge to create a pattern. The next scrap wood project idea is frames. You can really simply build frames for your canvas artwork. So I actually just published a whole video on how to measure for and build a basic wood frame for your DIY canvas artwork. It's a really great way to up level them and they're super simple. So I will link that in the description below for you to check out. And then lastly, if you have just a couple pieces of wood lying around, 
You can turn them into shelves. You can buy these metal shelf brackets online from Amazon or Home Depot and then just use those plus one board to create some really, really cute looking shelves. So that's a great idea if you don't want to get really involved with woodworking and you need some extra storage. Last but not least, category number eight, which is probably the most obvious interior design DIY, but I have some tricks that are gonna make yours super unique but this is to paint an accent wall. So if you have some extra paint, chances are you like the color because you bought it at one point, but you can use this to create an accent wall. So you can go ahead and paint like a full wall, but here's some ideas if you don't have a lot of paint, like you don't have enough to paint a wall, or you don't really want that intense and that much color in your room, Number one, an ombre wall. So if you have a color, like half a can of blue, and then some white, you can start at the bottom with the dark color and then slowly add white to your paint, mixing it up as you paint up the wall to create this ombre effect. It's super nice because it lets you get some of that bold, saturated color in your space, but then it fades out into a neutral, so it's a lot easier on the eyes, and it's just a really fun effect. So my next idea is to paint just half of the wall. So doing the bottom half of the wall makes it look like boarded batten or wainscoting and is a great way to get that bold pop of color in a space, but again, not having it fill the entire wall or be too much surface area. So this lets you go bold without it being overwhelming or too dark. You can get away with a really dark color like black or navy on just half the wall, where if you were to paint the whole wall, it might be a little bit intense. So you could do this by just taping off halfway up or you can add something like a shelf or a photo ledge to kind of visually break up where the bottom bold color ends and the regular top half of the wall begins. And my last idea, this is if you have the least amount of paint, even just a sample, is to do a pattern. One of my very favorite patterns is polka dots and you can actually do like a brush stroke polka dot pattern by just dipping your brush and then just kind of dabbing it onto your wall. Space it out a little bit and have fun with it. This is kind of like a fun hand painted pattern versus like a super specific stenciled look, but it can look really, really chic, especially if you have a dark color like black or gray or navy. It can create a really fun pattern in your space and it looks great behind a gallery wall or when you hang like a gold framed mirror over the top. So play around with it, it's just paint, and it's the easiest way to DIY some interior design changes for your space. Okay, let me know what projects you are diving into in the comments below. I love when you guys share with me what you're making, and chiming in with those project ideas will help give others inspiration on what they can make too. If you like this video, pop that thumbs up, and then hit that red subscribe button down below so you stay in the loop for more fun and fresh home design chats just like this.